<laughs> so, yeah, but, uh, you know, well, maybe we'll see the plant. Actually, I hear plant does pretty well against, against Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Plant, yeah, I don't know. I could, I could definitely believe it. I feel like Prada Plant's one of these characters that's kind of counter meta in some ways. Mm. You know, like, because uh, there's like certain, you know, you have like, like Spike Ball, like just the way the character operates. Like, there are matchups where Plant's individual placement on the tier list kind of goes out the window. Yeah, yeah. It's like the whole like, you know, Plant versus Olimar. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> suddenly this is like a really scary matchup. <laughs> For for some reason, I mean, it's pretty much just brood in Japan, like kind of putting that character on uh, on his back. But um, I can see it, man. It's I mean, like talking to Larry about it. Like so much is it, the question is on the ledge. Do you have like specialized options to get away from a lot of these things? Right. Because like if you don't have like really good wake up animations and your hitbox is big, and you have this poison cloud, the spike ball, and right. so many different ways to cover your wake ups and kill you for it. You get ledge traps. Yeah, it, it it takes forever, or you just die. But I mean, of course, Larry also has the wolf, so right, we'll right, probably right. just see the wolf because I mean, a gun to the face blast are really effective. I like that. I mean, I really like that Larry is. Um like I like I like his character pick in this in, in this game. I really like because he's kind of always been you know a, a real Falco guy at heart, and I feel like Wolf kind of satisfies that niche. Obviously, he wasn't really able to play Falco in four because you know mm. character strength not there. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's it's really cool that he kind of makes all three space animals work uh, with Wolf kind of as his backbone. So far, Kanga is being just kind of caught up on those platforms. Yeah. Natural yeah. place for a heavy to be. If you're not comfortable in the corner as a heavy, you can't really play a heavy. Yeah, you're 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 kind of usually getting kind of owned when you're in uh when you're in disadvantage like that. Ooh, downer just a little bit late. Oh, beautiful that angle. Sick. That's gonna KO. Yeah, nice stuff. All right, and Kanga also gets himself that full nine wind, or rather ten wind. Ooh, just lets it rip. I guess because you're at death percent, you right. might as well just make sure you take your shot because it goes away when you die. That's right. Yeah, I, it, it definitely makes sense. Um. Beautiful catch on the roll with the uh, with the ground pound, too. Yeah. Doing a good job just kind of stuffing Larry's attempts to disengage, which, again, was everyone's natural instinct against a heavy character against Donkey Kong is you don't want to be in his face all the time. Right. Wow. Jeez, the ledge trap actually is super solid. Down B to cover a lot of the grounded options, and then he's still able to... Uh, cover the platform right after. The, yeah, to snipe the jump from the ledge, and yet, I mean, we, 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 we said he was at death percent, but, I mean, I don't see him dying. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. <laughs> yeah. takes, the swing, takes the swing again. I guess just kind of looking for some, some, some easy damage, right? Like yeah. you said, yeah. Because like, whatever you don't use, you can't take it with you, you right. know? Right, right. But right. it's uh, Larry's turn to try to get something started. And the thing about Larry is, like, God, that's I, a lot of damage. Oh, I, I, all I, off of that one down throw. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Larry never gets tilted. Like, he has the oh, highest composure. And yeah, he's always been that way. Yeah. He's been that way since Melee. He's, he's like this weird, super rare breed where the higher the pressure is, the better he thinks. Yeah. So, like, he's the one most likely to make crazy comebacks. So, like, even against Donkey Kong in this situation, like, I, I can't ever put myself to bed against him. Totally. Totally. And, I mean, with, with, a, with a good ledge trap or edge guard here... Uh, could easily be looking at a one-stop game. Mm -hmm. Spacing so far really nicely on these get-ups. Looking like he wants to cover the roll. Instead gets another beautiful F-tilt. Yo, yo, Larry. Okay, he's going to stand up for a Oh, didn't quite get him. Mm -hmm. If he did that third time, I was about to say, yo, he's the best ledge trapper in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Mikonga just oh, got popped oh, twice oh, in the oh, same oh, thing. Oh, oh, Still holding on. All right. Yes, go back. Four tilt. Mr. R, the, the we got some competition. <laughs> oh, the, the, the plays. So, so to be honest, the spacing of that last F tilt was actually slightly further away yeah, than the previous ones. No. Like there actually was some subtle change there. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just memeing. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, you, I mean, you know, you got to account for for the different ranges, but you know, no one can deny that Wolf definitely has some sick options there. Yeah, and, yeah. And all of this platform extensions. By the way, Larry's now slightly in the lead. Yeah, after, yeah, after first time. that thunderous start by Kanga, yeah. And this would hurt to give this away, too. Right? Mm. This is like, you know, Kanga, definitely a good player, but like, right, let's see what he's got here. It's his there turn to go. trap again. Oh, no reaction! Maybe yeah. waiting out, trying to wait out a spot dodge, maybe? Because he thinks, oh, and that's the downer. Yeah, I think maybe he was thinking, you know, okay, Larry's going to try to get up spot dodge, potentially um, go for that easy back throw KO, right? So yeah. I'm, I'm going to, like, respect that because I don't want to, like, you know, Miss my reaction or whatever. Be a little bit late. Get back thrown. I I, I think it's almost like because we were talking earlier about like 
how some players just make blanket reads on people before like the fought. I feel like that was a situation where in his career fighting so many other people, it's like they're at death percent in the corner against me, they're flinching. Right, they're but Larry flinching. doesn't flinch. Larry doesn't flinch. So that's why they never even pay it out for him. Yeah, that was a uh, man. And that, that hurts if you're Conga, dude. Because yeah, like, 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 like I was starting to talk about, this would, I think, still be considered an upset, you know, if he's beating Larry. And, and to come off of a lead that strong, and now you're going to game two, you're getting juggled on the platforms. It, it does a lot of mental damage. Oh, yeah. Because, like, especially especially with heavies, like, you can... Those those hard call-outs that a heavy has, like, you can't land them every single time in the situation, right? The opponent knows about it, they start playing around, which means, like, you need to be pulling out entirely new tricks. Those are two tricks that you used that now didn't get you that, the game value right, that you were hoping right, for. Right, And now he's got the data, and Larry, you know, he's such a seasoned veteran. Of course he's going to be good at downloading. I like Combo, uh, you know, con consistently taking his time on the ledge, though. Mm -hmm. I do, uh, do appreciate that. Even against a character like Wolf, they can pretty easily, you know, kind of walk up and cover, uh, you know, Lechang if he wants to. Yeah. Wow. wow. So. Uh, there it is. But yeah. <laughs> Situational. Yeah. You know, but there it is. But as you were saying, I, like that that level of patience, that composure, like that's a big part of the reason why Kongo performed so well in Smash Four with Donkey Kong, right? It wasn't just um, the fact that he had the throw confirms; he did understand like every inch of the character too. He was able to play those different pacings. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Looking for a down smash there. Might have even got it if he let it rip sooner. Like he uh, he he, he like started charging it to cover like a two frame. Yeah, yeah. And. Um, because Kaga just went straight for him, which could have actually been really dangerous. Yeah, it's just that, that call of, like, he's expecting me to be scared and waiting at the ledge like I have been yeah. up until now. He's not ready for me to be this bold, because uh, up until now, I've been taking my time. Right. Oh. So Larry, Kanga on potentially his last stock this set, but he's actually in the verge of getting uh, Larry down to his last stock as well for the game. Yeah. Oh? Yeah, that's really oh. annoying to come back from. Okay, now just going to go for a charge and Minch to pick up the getup as well. Yeah. Now, does Kanga let it rep immediately? Because he's got a fresh stock this time. Every other punch, he's like been at like 140%. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, he's definitely going to save it. Right, especially, yeah, you want, okay, okay. Saved it for, for some time. Yeah, for, for an actual read, yeah. Right. It's the kind of thing where, like, just having it at this percent strikes fear into the heart of your opponent. Yeah. At least, at least for mortals. Maybe not Larry Lord. <laughs> yeah. I love Kanga taking his time on the other side of the screen. There's not really a reason for him to, to put himself at risk. Mm -hmm. Gets the chase down and gets the kill with it, too. Yeah, that was kind of on the edge of, like, whether it would kill or not. Mm -hmm. All right, game three. And, I mean, this is basically one comeback apiece between Kanga and Larry. Okay. Where the player going up early uh, has not been able to close it out. I think in the very beginning of their first game, Larry had the first string, and then Kanga, like, took two stocks, like, right after it. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we'll see. I mean, at this rate, I wouldn't be surprised if we just got Battlefield again. But I blinked. I didn't see what stage they picked. You know, I was actually kind of hoping Larry would go Falco. <laughs> you know, I would not be surprised at all. This would be one of the matchups to do it, is the thing. <laughs> I, I'm not sure, actually. You don't think so? Because I'm thinking about like the ledge trapping that Larry's been getting with Wolf. Oh, and that I don't has know. been how he's been coming Yeah, around, and I don't know if Falco really has that. Falco's super good at anti-airing people. You but take your stocks in a different way, for sure. Yeah. yeah you're... Uh, You've got those super reliable, just like kill setups on heavies, but those are mostly from you know back air, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're not lead trapping quite the same way. Either way, though, I mean this has all been just super clean. All of this. Oh, he tried to maybe go to the platform, but anyway, get, gets on stage. Down Beautiful down. catch on the tech in place. Yeah, and you've got that 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 nice coverage for the tech roll behind if they choose to tech back too. Yeah, uh, and then if they tech a ray, then they're they're stuck in the corner. They're stuck in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just a very very solid calculated thing. Right. Yeah, the, uh, just preying on the disadvantage of Donkey Kong. Yeah, and I, I love I love those little moments of patience that Larry has when he's the one juggling, where he'll occasionally like dash back to bait out like your reaction, and then just swoop back in for the punish to keep it going. Right. Kong was trying to call it a double jump there from Larry, but I Ooh. guess that's the problem with like you know when you're playing a, a, a heavy that's obviously naturally slower. When you make a read like that and you're wrong. Uh, you don't usually have that like same sense that some of the top tiers have, where you can cover some other options. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you can you can get like some leftovers or something. Right, right, right. Still not gonna do it. Wow. It's so close to it though. Yeah. This is looking more and more dire for Konga on his last stock of the set. That's right. And 
another lead trap situation. Oof. And Larry just so calm standing at that roll distance and still able to punish the aerial. Yeah. Yeah, just pulling out the pistol as well. Leveraging his lead for whatever it's worth. Yeah, this, I mean, this could even be a three stock at this point. Uh, what's he gonna it, do? It looks like, okay. <laughs> It, it felt like Congo was trying to bait Larry into doing like a walk up, uh, like ledge hang punish. Right. And I think Larry, like, sends him, like, I'm not doing anything. I'm just standing here yeah. and waiting. I'll be over here. <laughs> you can come when you're ready. <laughs> oh, that could. I thought he was actually going to look for another down smash. And that was an undetectable off the ground. <laughs> Don't see that that often. Yeah. He, he thought about maybe going for an edge guard, but then he remembered, no, you know what? This ledge trap has been how I've taken these stocks. It's been working, yeah. Don't don't change horses in the middle of a stream or something. Don't do what? It's, a, it's an expression from, like, uh, presidential races. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes <laughs> sense. Okay. <laughs> well, Max Rage Dunk... No, that's not <laughs> I started trying to give Kong some hope, but... I mean, they're too clean. There, there, like, there was still like that chance, but yeah, at that 